These are different types of molds grown in the laboratory. As you can see, some of them are black, others are green, others are white, and others appear to be yellowish or brownish. So molds come in different uh, types of colors. If we can go closer and look at how they look like, you can see that uh, we have these ones. Uh, the first plate there shows bluish uh, mold. And then the second plate there shows uh, some which appear to be white. Others are reddish, uh, we have grayish and even brackish. And all these, they actually uh, represent some of the molds that you can find in indoor environment. Um, the uh, the types that probably would cause problem in a in a house and oh this one is white that's uh, that's very interesting and uh, that one is completely black sometimes people inhale the spores of some of these molds without even knowing that they are actually having problems until they have their air tested. As most of these images we are seeing here actually, they are from air samples which people have sent to our lab and then we capture that air in media and we end up uh, with these types of uh, different uh, modes. Some of them look black as you can see and what we do next is to try and identify which types they are. As we have already mentioned, it's very difficult actually to tell the type of mold by just the the color it appears because they are molds which of course will look the same but they might be uh, completely different. And once we do the identification, uh, we usually tell the client uh, what type of mode they had and whether that is the type of mode which is known to cause any problems and uh, from there the next step would be uh, actually to get somebody who can clean up the mold in case it is uh, excessive one point I would want to mention is that although we know that molds actually they are a health hazard it depends on the amount present and also the health status of individuals so i would uh, say that anytime we see molds in our homes we should not just panic because there are chances that we have not been affected by that mold at all. So the best thing is to have it cleaned up or the same, but uh, there is no need of panicking uh, because we know that even as we walk outside in the parks or even when we are driving or even in buses, we actually inhale different types of molds because molds they are everywhere in nature including in the parks where we go to uh, to relax in the forests where we we go to uh, probably uh, walk uh, there are these molds which of course their work is to decompose all the dead material this produce pores which get into the air and as we walk aloud we inhale millions of those spores without even knowing. I hope you have learned something regarding these modes. And if you have a question, always feel free to contact us. Our phone number is 905-290-9101. We can actually capture the air in your house for you to know for sure whether you have mold or not. Thank you.